Hey, what's up guys? I'm about to show you something that I have learned on a YouTube channel called Spray Paint Art. Now, just so everybody's clear on this, this is not something that I picked up on my own. No. There are others out there that are doing all types of spray paint art, and one day I just stumbled across it, just flipping through YouTube and videos and stuff, and I came across it, and I was like, hmm what is this? I thought, well, I want to check it out and see what it's all about and everything. So I really started getting into it and really learned a lot. Uh, I'm still below the amateur level, but I'm learning new things. Uh, so I hope that I can get, when I, when I do this video, I hope I can put like a description uh, down below of like a link to other people that are doing this. There's, there's actually uh, a couple of people that I've been watching. Uh, this one gal, she's amazing. Just, just her technique of how she uses colors and objects and shapes and how she gets how, how she gets it done is just totally amazing. So I'm going to show you guys what I have learned from these other individuals because I always give credit where credit is due because I don't want to sit here and say, Gee, I picked up on something that I just taught myself. No, no. This is stuff that I have learned. And I tell you, everybody, whatever you want to learn, if you're learning something new, YouTube is a great learning channel. You pick up on so many different projects and uh, how to fix things. And it's, it's great. And so this is what I've learned. So I'm going to show you uh, just a quick little starter video on what I've learned and what I've picked up on and hopefully maybe some of you will see this and go hey that's pretty cool I doesn't look that hard to do and it's not really uh, I at first I was like wow how are they gonna get that so I just followed along and I just did it one day and I'm like wow pretty cool so let's get started okay so uh, I know it's a kind of a weird angle. I've got my phone sitting inside of a cup that so I can get this angle. But um, one of the things that that I have learned is if you're just starting out, you can go buy some poster board at Walmart. You can buy one or two, or you can buy a pack of five for like ten bucks or whatever. Um, I've usually bought. Let me show you what I usually get. I get these big sheets, and then basically what I do is cut them in half, get down to that, or if you want to cut them down even smaller to make a smaller picture, okay. it's preference, people. One thing I've always said in my videos for anything, it's all preference. Now, some of the tools that I use, this little plastic object here, I use to make, when I do mountains, you know, I'll make like snow caps and all that. Um, you can use little scrapers like this. Like you, you might see some videos where they do buildings. You know, you'll see them, you know, come up, over, at an angle, and down, and then it kind of looks like a building. But what I'm going to do for you guys today, I'm not going to get too detailed. We're going to do some mountains. Uh, one that I've done, I'll show you, is this. That one I did a couple weeks, or a couple weeks, <laughs> couple days ago and I liked it so much I thought well I'm gonna see if I can do some different colors I'm gonna kind of do uh, something similar here but my colors are gonna be different this is kind of like a, a Canada snow mountains with the uh, with the uh, frozen lake and everything and then just like a like a partial moon again I will show you guys how to do that it's what I've learned okay so what I'm going to do is, oh, again, tools that, that I use for this, it's basic, uh, an old roll of tape. So like when you do like your half moons or your or a sun or something, you just kind of spray it in the middle of that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like, um, it would be like a, like a planet looking type kind of thing up here. So first thing I want to do, one thing you want to get a hold of is some black. Make sure it works good. So I'm going to start. I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm going to put 
some black down. Because what I'm going to be using is this bowl. Okay. So I'll do that. And then I'm going to do some gray. And guys, you can use just about um, any type of paint. It's preference again. And so most of you're going to use is, is black and white. Okay. Um, I've, I use Krylon. I've also used uh, paint that, that I get from other places. This one I got from Lowe's. So I'm going to lay down some white. Okay. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Uh, I could probably make everything a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go around that. And here, like so. There's some more gray. I want to make this a little bit bigger. Like that. Okay. Now, one of the key things that when you're doing something like this, if you want your, your texture, your design, a Walmart bag, any kind of bag, make sure you get them extra flakes on. So basically what I do is I just lay this down like so. I just pat on the inside like that. And I just pull it up. Now, if I think it needs a little more, I can dab, 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 dab. Okay, so that's going to be like a moon looking type kind of thing. So, what I'll do is I'll put my bowl. Right, well, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Okay, so now we're going to do, we're going to do black across the top. Okay, we're going to do some black because we're going to do like a, like a dark sky into a, a lighter, lighter sky. So what I'm going to do now Make sure my orange is spraying out pretty good. Okay, looks pretty good. So we're going to do a little orange in there. Okay. Make sure that blends good. And then I will take a blue, not the darker blue. Okay. I'm going here like this. And then Set it with a lighter blue, okay? And then I'll just kind of also lightly just kind of go around like that. Kind of give it some effect right there, but not too much. So we just kind of want to, whoops, that's the gray. Where's my black blue? There we go. We want to go back over that. Looks like the, the sky might have a little texture, okay? So no big deal there. Now, what I do to make sure that this don't get too messed up is I get a dryer. Or a heat gun. Whatever you need to do, just make sure all this is dry real good. I love this texture up here in the dark of the sky. This looks really good. I'm going to do this right now. I know this probably don't look like much. I'm just kind of blending colors right now. Make sure all this is good and dry. Uh, when you're using poster board, use the, uh, the shiny side. You get better results that way, from what I understand. I've used both sides. I kind of get different results. But again, it's up to you guys. So, the black, I'm not, I'm not really digging that black right there. So, we're just going to kind of put that over a little bit more. Open that up. So, we get the idea. And then I'll go back and hit that again. Make sure that's done. Sometimes you have to do that. You may have to just kind of go back over your colors. It's like this is no big deal. So now that we've got that, okay, we're just going to lift that off. Isn't that cool looking? So you can give this a little shine if you want. So we can kind of go put the bowl back over it like that. And we'll just give that a little shine like that. Pretty cool, huh? That's how you get your shine. Now, what I'm going to do just to make sure, I'm just to make sure that this is all dry really good. Um, if you want to do this, that's good. You don't have to, but it's something that I'm doing. So now, to do mountains. And this is the fun part, guys. This is where it gets really, really cool. I've got to make sure i got my bag sitting here. I may use another bag. You can use another bag if you want. You can use a fresh, fresh clean bag. So anyways, 
All right, so now if you want to do a mountain, the mountain, of course, this is going to be hiding behind the mountain. So um, we just kind of go like this, all right, like that, and you can cross over if you want. Okay, and then you just kind of fill this in, like so. Fill that in. Okay. Then you can take your white. Okay, you can just kind of hit over there like that. And don't overthink it, guys. Just kind of let yourself go if you want to throw some blue in there for color. It's going to really come out, I think, really cool. And then maybe some gray. Again, once you have all this set, it's going to come out really good. So, now, for the mountains, okay, make sure you're going to go around the edges, okay? So, you're basically, you're going to put it over the whole thing, go over the edges, okay? Pull it back a little bit, keep going over this edge, okay? It's okay. It, if you, if you think you mess it up, don't. You can always go back and you can always fix it, make it better. You can kind of see how we're getting uh, some texture to it now. And like I say, I'm just kind of going over these edges. If you want to go all the way down to the next one, you can do that. Kind of give it an overlay. Go on up to the top mountain and then down. Okay? Now... Wow, that looks really, really neat. Again, guys, do not overthink it, okay? You see how we kind of got a texture going already? Okay? Now, what I do is something like this. I'll show you. So I'm here to do. This little piece right here, okay, I'll take my white. Where'd my white go? There we go. I'll just kind of spray some white over here. Kind of get that going. I might put a little bit of gray into it, you know, and then I'll mix it up. I don't know if you can see that or not. Then I'll just kind of, kind of go like this, like little snow caps, if you will. Kind of go down here, and you may have to lay down some more paint. So you may have to do white, some gray, kind of get it mixed up. And just, just let yourself go. See how, how that went down? And if you want to just kind of fling it a little bit, you can do that. And just kind of really gives it some, some texture and some tone. So, and again, I mean, if, if you think you might mess it up, it's okay. Just, you know, just don't overthink it, guys. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Because, you know, as mountains, you know, it's like, oh, okay, they're never perfect, and it looks like this or that, but that's the way it's supposed to be, okay? Um, just like your mountain crest, like this uh, edge I did right here, if you want to define that, just kind of go like this, kind of define that, kind of, kind of gives it that, that three-dimensional look where, like, one mountain's behind another one. So you just kind of just kind of skim it and everything. And if you want to kind of go, you know, with that, and you don't have to do like a complete edge. It's just it's preference, guys. Just again, I know I probably keep saying this, but gosh, don't don't overthink it too much. Just and then we're gonna go like we can do. Get some more going here. Like this mountain is gonna gonna over that mountain okay so you kind of see what we got going on here now if you want to just kind of put some in the middle you can do that you know just some little places here and there kind of give it a little definition you can do that so basically that's what you get now something that I do just to kind of show it off a bit because you kind of see that the, the, the night time up here and then you know you got the horizon going down into the blue, and then you got the mountains and everything. I just kind of just kind of give a little spray just around the edge a little bit, just to kind of you know show it off here some. Kind of gives a little. I mean, if you want to, you don't have to, but I always like to leave a spot 
that I can uh, I can do my name in. So I'll come down here like this, and then I'll just go here. And there's my signature right there. So there you go, guys. I mean, it's simple. Just whatever colors, like say you're going to be using a lot of black and white. Your background, uh, depending on your background, but I I see a lot of people using the blacks and the whites and everything, which is which is fine. Um, I've used like <clears throat> this kind of looks like a moon type kind of thing, so that's why I kind of use the gray, and then like your horizons, you know, you go like say from the from orange into a blue, and then maybe into a lighter blue, and then I just took those same colors all these colors right here and i've incorporated them into the mountain now the reason that i would do that i'm not saying this is how but the reason why i would do that if you think about your 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 dark skies and your moon and the reflection and all that and everything you want those same colors to kind of just you know show through on the mountain because you know when, when this when the moon's coming up or the sun's going down you know those whatever colors are in the sky is what's going to reflect onto the mountain so you can see how you still got your your oranges right there um, your blues and then your darks and everything and then your your caps your snow caps and all that so guys that's basically it um, I will uh, I'll try to put a description below Oops. yes you do get paint on yourself so be careful also safety guys I didn't do it but I'm not saying you don't have to, but uh, do this in a well-ventilated well, well, well ventilated area. And if you have a respirator or a mask that you want to use, uh, by all means, you know, safety, safety, safety. Uh, I just I feel pretty comfortable uh, out here in the shop. You know, it is well ventilated. God knows there's holes all over this place. <coughs> so, anyways, very simple, very easy um give it a shot if you've got some if you've already got some spray paint laying around no matter what the colors are just use them try it just get you some you know poster board if you got some sitting around or, or a or a piece of paper you know just hey give it a shot see what you got give it a try i mean i did i liked it and it's pretty cool so anyways there you are guys Spray paint art. Again, I learned it from uh, a lot of people that I've watched on YouTube. So um, there we go. And again, give it a try, guys. I like it. It is pretty cool. It's a. Um, it's it's good. It's re it's relaxing because you're concentrating on on what you're doing here. And if you're having one of those days, if you want to forget about the day you had. Do this because you're so focused on what's going on right here that you just totally forgot about what kind of day I like the day I had at work but you know um but yeah just let yourself go guys it's it's cool so give you a close up here and as one of the other guys that's on YouTube that does this uh Willie I can't remember his name but he's always like squiggle my diggle which that's his signature, well not his, that's my signature, but that's what he says when he does his signature. He does squiggle my diggle, but I just, I just signed it. So, hope you like it guys. Check it out.